shysty background between the Suez Canal crisis, okay? So the Suez Canal crisis is basically um, Israel colludes with Britain and France to destabilize the Suez Canal. So the Western Union troops could be sent over to keep the peace slash take over. They also wanted to remove Gamal Abdel Nasser. He had just nationalized the Suez Canal in 1956. He basically kind of took it back to be used by Egypt. Obviously, they didn't like that because the Suez Canal is a very important piece of real estate, right? Um, they wanted to open up the Strait of Tehran as well. It's really interesting because I was just reading about the Suez Canal crisis, right? And a friend had just sent me this comedy skit of this Middle Eastern woman, comedian, asking, are there any Middle Eastern people in the audience? And somebody goes, Israel! And she's like, okay, what about any real Middle Eastern people here? <laughs> and you could tell that she's just trying to make a joke about it, but it's like you could just feel this, like, hatred seething off of her. And, you know, I try to look at it from two perspectives, right? Um, imagine how bad that Israeli person felt, but also knowing about these things like the Suez Canal crisis, like, technically, yeah, if we're just kind of looking at countries like we're looking at a chess set or whatever, you know, we're kind of dehumanizing them and just seeing them as cogs or whatever, pieces in a game. Israel betrayed its neighbors by colluding with Western powers to destabilize, you know, a Middle Eastern piece of real estate so it's kind of, So that is kind of an inherent betrayal, you know. You know, there is this need to separate a people state. You know, you can disagree with a lot of what Israel does, but you shouldn't immediately hate an Israeli simply for being born into that country. Um, depends on how that person feels towards the conflict, right? But some people are just kind of born into this country, and they are just kind of bombarded with this certain type of propaganda as they're growing up. And how do they really have a chance to figure out what's actually happening? You know, we see all these lies being thrown at us every single day, and only people with serious critical thinking skills can break through the lies and figure out the actual truth. But, you know, knowing about this little plan, especially with how Israel is happy to collude with Western powers to destabilize their neighbors, it kind of does support this argument that Israel is a Western colony located in the Middle East. I mean, the first Zionist, Theodore Herschel, or the first, no, he's not the first Zionist. There are some guys before him, forget their names. And on Theodore Hurst's Wikipedia page, I fucking I love going on the page and just reading it over and over again. I'm just like super like crazy about it. But you know, Theodore Herschel is one of the biggest and first Zionists, right? And this guy is an Ashkenazi Jew. He's a Western Jew. He's an Eastern European man that practiced, you know, practice that was born into Judaism and didn't really practice it too much growing up. But Suez Canal Crisis is a really great example of. This fact that Israel is willing to throw their neighbors under the bus, their supposed brothers. Sorry about that. That Israel is willing to throw its supposed brothers under the bus and shack up with Western powers for their benefit. So it's, it kind of makes sense why, you know, the Arab countries don't really like Israel. It kind of makes sense.